Here's something we learned. People who live in other countries are paying a lot less for some vacations than Americans. So the KSL investigators put together an experiment and found you can save hundreds or even thousands of dollars with a little high-tech trickery. Matt Gephardt reports. It is safe to say travel is back. Bags are full, airplanes are full, hotels are full. So by the laws of supply and demand, those working in the travel industry do not need to compete as hard for your business. And discounts can be harder to come by. So to bust inflation, let's get a little creative. All sorts of choices here. KSL investigative producer Sloan Schrag and I sat down to search for travel deals. The exact same searches on the exact same websites with one big difference. Remain, it's nice this time of year. Sloan's computer is using what's called a VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It is a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online by hiding your IP address. August 4th through 8th. I am not using a VPN, so the internet knows that I'm sitting in Salt Lake City as I browse around. Sloan, on the other hand, can tell the internet he's, well... I will uh, put this in Berlin. Whatever he wants. Das ist sehr gut. By doing so, a few things are immediately noticeable. For example, the default language is no longer American English, and the default currency switches to that country's. But that is not the only difference. Do you have one called the Rue? I do. Sloan and I began searching for hotels in Mexico. Sloan through a German server and me through the good old U.S. of A. And right away, we were blown away. Holy, that's uh, $720.42 difference. That's huge. That's a big difference. That's like a whole other night. It is. That's a lot of uh, German stuff we can be doing. <laughs> so I do a lot of traveling to Europe. Gerald Kosulis is well aware of this inflation-busting life hack. From our own personal experiences, we noticed that obviously with a change in location, a lot of times you get different pricing. In addition, from hailing from another country and being himself well-traveled, Gerald works for a company that sells VPN services. Nord VPN. Nord studied this phenomena and found similar results to ours. American travelers, when they're traveling abroad, often they overpay for their holidays uh, compared to the people booking the same holiday from different locations um, outside the United States. For Nord, their most striking example came when researchers logged on through a Mexican server and tried to book Mexican vacation. They saved a staggering $57,000 on a 14-night stay. They also found that renting a car through the Mexican server resulted in a, quote, 61% less than booking through the U.S. site. What is it about being American that has us paying more? Um, I would say it's, it's, so, it's probably a good thing. Um, it's economical strength of, of the country. Usually my, the places I stay say, you know, as seen on Dateline on the marquee. <laughs> now, not every search Sloan and I did yielded savings. For example, no matter the site, we did not find any discounts on airfare. We also did not find any savings when searching properties in the United States, like Hawaii. Now go back to the first page. We did, however, find subtle differences. Like the hotels that came up top for me on my U.S. server were more luxury than the hotels first displayed for Sloan. Even though it's the same price, yeah, it's pushing on me the more expensive stuff. Right. But no question about it, the hotel savings in some south-of-the-border towns were well worth the $14 we spent to sign up for access to a VPN. Wow, that's, that's way cheaper. Yeah, that's substantial. Now listen, Sloan and I are nothing if not thorough when it comes to investigating. So in that spirit, Dan Dini, if you see our news director in the next week, please let her know we're off to the Mexican Riviera and KSL's dime, you know, confirming those savings. <laughs> we'll report back. Guys. Nice. And you're speaking German the entire time. There you go. Yeah, I'll All learn right. a few. <laughs> Thanks.